Always amazing to see that first big wintry storm in October. It's like, wait a minute, we are there already. Can you believe it? Here at home, that system will not impact us with snow, but we will see the cool air from it. And it won't be long before the mountains start to see snow possibilities out of some of these stronger fronts that move our way, especially along the Tennessee line. Not uncommon for this time of the year and beyond. As we look at the sunshine outside, we are clear. Our next front will gather strength back toward the west and kind of move a lot of this moisture to the east. But as it does, the moisture train is going to weaken, so we don't get a lot of rain out of it. What we will get is a temperature change. You can see it's very hot across the southeast, more mild in the Midwest, and look at this cold air back toward the Rockies. We're going to get a real taste of that coming up this weekend. Boy, it's toasty outside now, though. 86 in Greenville. It's 83 in Anderson. It's 84 right now in Pickens. Over the next 12 hours in Pickens, if you have evening plans, down to 72 degrees by 8 o'clock, lower 60s by tomorrow morning. Speaking of tomorrow morning, another mild one on the way upper 50s to lower 60s so a little bit on the crisp side if you're out early but only for an hour or two it warms up very quickly thereafter and we'll have another day with a mix of sun and a few clouds 83 degrees by the afternoon so another toasty day if you have high school football plans tomorrow or if you're going out to dinner things look completely clear no rain opportunities tomorrow evening in Spartanburg we'll start off in the low 60s warm into the low 80s that's about 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year and in Anderson we'll start off in the middle 60s and warm into the low to mid 80s. Plenty of clear skies to go around tomorrow. In western North Carolina, we'll see temperatures top out near 80 degrees again. Way warmer than you should be this time of the year in the mountains. One more day. One more day with this kind of warmth. And I won't say we're done with the 80s, but the foreseeable future does feature 70s in the forecast versus 80s. So this might be the last time for at least a while that we see 80s in the forecast. 81 in Asheville, 80 tomorrow in Hendersonville, 84 in Anderson. In fact, let's get in closer to Anderson County, 84 for Townville, Star and Iva, 84 degrees, and from Williamson to Belton to Honeyapath, a toasty day in the lower 80s. Here comes the cold front that's going to change it all around for us. We've got those warm southerly winds out ahead of it. Let me pause it here for you. Saturday morning, the front moving through the Tennessee Valley will start off with a few clouds, and as that front moves through, it'll give some spotty showers to the mountains around lunchtime pushing east thereafter, but the mountains break a lot of this up for the upstate, so our chances are only at about a 20%. You may see a spotty shower here or there, but really it's going to be out of here pretty quickly, and by the late afternoon, early evening hours, we are cooling down in a big way. Let me show you the four-day. 83 tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, spotty showers on Saturday, especially early, and then giving way to cooler conditions by the evening. We'll tumble on down to 45 by Sunday morning, only topping out at 68 degrees on Sunday, way below where we should be this time of the year. And Monday will feature a very chilly start with what is Minnie's fall break early next week. And we'll see the middle 70s most of next week with high temperatures right where they should be this time of the year. And the mountains even cooler from 80 tomorrow to high of 61 on Sunday. Look at Monday morning's low, 39.